Hey everybody and welcome back to more Let's Play Xenosaga Episode 1. Um, now as you can see we're in a boss fight at the moment against Ambix here. Who is nothing special. Just transmit Junior into his eggs. And just basically attack the guy. That's all you need to do. However there's a hidden challenge in here. Um, two of the members of this party are not going to continue on in this game. Um, and I'm not saying they're going to die, but you're just not going to be using them. However, they're still going to gain experience points and, and tech points and everything from this battle. Um, and those are points that could be going to Junior. So the trick is uh, to keep Junior healthy and to get rid of the other two characters. Now, I'm not going to bother wasting my time trying to kill off these two characters. And I'm not going to attack myself, but with any luck, um, at least this guy, the random soldier, will uh, get knocked out before, um, before the end of the battle. And you can guard and do your W attack if you want, but really it doesn't matter. Uh, just take them out however you want. They'll go down fast enough. There you go. Uh, and a sword attack. That's all you can do. So yeah, so uh, not really anything sp Oh, he has two attack. Not really anything special here. He'll go down quick enough. Boost recovered. That's not good. Good. And he's out of the picture. And that means we'll get more experience from the end of this fight. Which is cool with me. You won't see me complaining. Now you can defend and go into WAC, but I don't think it's that. And no, it's not necessarily because he's gone. He's done. So as you can see, we get. More experience now because of that. 900 to be exact. Very nice. And we get the B Max circuit, which is great because that's actually a rare drop for this uh, this boss. So that was very nice. It worked out well. We've hacked into the enemy mainframe. Okay, so now what? Shall I copy or transmit it? They've already entered the manual override code. The partitions are being deleted. Hurry up and start your transmission. Roger. You just clear your head out and wait for me. I tell you, being able to interlink with your sister has got real convenient. I wouldn't say that. She has so many random thoughts. I can't help it. We're humans, not realians. You can telepathically talk to the Kaiser, right, little master? That sounds a lot more convenient to me. You don't need this annoying contraption, either. Not really. I have to constantly make sure I watch what I'm thinking. Or else I start sending thoughts I don't want to send. The whole thing's just as tiring as hell. It'd be easier just to write him a letter. Oh, I didn't know it was like that. Yep, that's how it is. Hmm. <sighs> <sighs> You okay, Mary? Yeah, I'm all right, but look what you did. Oh. I'm sorry to say that all data from the enemy mainframe has been lost. Oh. Oops. It's because of all those cheesy action flicks you keep on watching. They've launched a lifeboat. Shall we pursue? Nah, no need to pursue them that far. 
We just need to know where they're headed. Place a trace request with the UMN Administration Bureau. Let's head back. Hurry up with the retrieval preparations on board the Durandal. All hands, check your equipment. Don't leave any evidence behind. Amazing. I can't believe how much his personality changes when he's holding a gun. A lust for conquest and absolute power, and the desire to have a really big gun. I suppose that'd be the standard explanation. <laughs> you don't hold back, do you, Shelly? Although, in Little Master's case, it's probably just a complex about his height. <laughs> probably, but I think Little Master's plenty attractive just the way he is. <laughs> True. Mary, we'll be leaving in two minutes. Hurry back, okay? Roger. It's a shame. Little Master doesn't have any choice in the matter but to stay that size. I thought Commander Cherenkov was here with you. What's the matter? Well, he skipped dinner again, so I've been looking for him. Did you check outside? He mentioned something about finding a charter flight. Wait a minute. Wearing that uniform? Yeah. Oh, that's bad. Mm -hmm. This area was abandoned by the government and never properly restored after the war. People here haven't forgotten how violent the military was, though. It's no place for a soldier to be wandering around. Is it really that dangerous here? Well, it's fine if you're a civilian. Well, in that case, we better go find him before anything happens. Yeah, you're right. I'll go get Ziggy. He'll probably come in handy at a time like this. All right. I'll go with Alan, then. He doesn't look very useful, though. <laughs> 